was hard. Yours, bro. the way you would deliver it. It was the first time he was on your radar. My homeboy brought Mo3 to the studio, so that was my first time ever getting to hear him. And he was walking around the studio telling us he had all this going on. Come on, bro. <laughs> you would deliver it, man. Bruh. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. He proved me wrong now. Like Ryan wouldn't prove me all the way wrong because, like I said, when he first got here, no. he was talking crazy. But now, as you see him moving around, he, like some more even did, yeah. like he moving, like he moving the smart way, bro. Yeah, like he not with that dumb no more. He don't care about that. As long as you you making music and he want to hear, uh, it's like for the world to hear, he gon' he gon' you. Yeah, shout out to Baby C, Bumpy Johnson. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, yeah. yeah, he got, you he got Bumpy Johnson. You be seeing Bumpy Johnson yeah. singing on here? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I see y'all showing that love though. Yeah. To, you know what I mean? Yeah. To rain in the artists. You know what I mean? Yeah. See Baby C on here. I didn't see you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. y'all showing love, bro. Go Boss always do that. Go always do that, man. Um, I seen you in the documentary, man. I think you had one of the hardest. Bro, like, that was hard. Yours, bro. the way you would deliver on, it. Fam. Was the first time he was on your radar. My homeboy brought Mo three to the studio, so that was my first time ever getting to hear him. And he was walking around the studio telling us he had all this going on. Come on, bro. <laughs> you were delivering, on, man. Bro. So just run me down through there, like on how how that even happened. How did that, what's his name? Latham. Uh, what's his Van Latham? Van Latham. Latham. You yeah. interviewed him too, but yeah. just run me down through there on how they even rock with you, how they got with you. Because I interviewed Soldier Slim uh, and his sister, yeah. Soldier Slim, a uh, little little Soldier Slim and his uh, Annie Peaches, and they was telling me about theirs. Yeah. Just run me down through yeah. there on how they reach out to you and all. Salute that. to Fifty Cent, Mona Scott, that Van Latham, that whole play but uh um, once again you know what i mean um i got the call through rainwater really you know what I mean? rainwater hit me up and say hey fam they doing this and they want to you know they want to they want to they looking through shit and they they, they didn't run across you and they want you on here fam you know what i mean hit them up so uh i think he was out of like and it was out of like me and mr Hill. it was like put one more person like in the space and salute to mr Hill. you know what i mean man, I, that's yeah, my boy yeah, salute to that Man, they, they th I thought he was gonna be on. I'm not sure if he did an interview or what. Cause I know Cole Gotti did an interview and they didn't put him on. There. Really? Yeah, Cole Gotti actually did an interview. Damn, him and him and my and dog, that's dude. His brother. That's his brother. So I didn't. I thought that was. You know what I mean? I, I seen some goofy people they had on there. You feel? I seen a goofy nigga with a cowboy hat on. <laughs> you feel me? I seen a goofy <laughs> with a blonde wig on. Them people had no business being on that show. But you know, so why they took Cole Gotti off? That was I didn't understand that, bro. I, I disagree with that. But like I said, Rainwater hit, hit me up, told me they was you know putting it together. I, they reached out to me, bro. I went up there, salute to Van Lathan. We did the show, and I told Van Lathan, "Hey, nigga, I did this. Nigga, you gonna do mine?" He did it. That's hard. And, hey, look, and Gina could a nice check too, bro. No. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna say this: some people didn't even know it. If you don't know the game, some people didn't even know to ask for, to get money. Some did it for free, but I had the game. I've been mm -hmm. in this business, so I already knew. And, and they he, and they cut the check. They, and not to mention, they could have checked. They could have second check. Get out of here, yeah, man. Bro. Yeah, but some people didn't get it. Some don't know no better. They don't know the business. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to ask for. They don't I'm know the pretty sure there was a lot of people that didn't do. You just helped a lot of people out. For yeah. this. Hey, that's yeah, crazy. Hey, if you're dealing with this entertainment world, they gonna always cut a check for you, y'all. Y'all yeah. just gotta ask get to know what y'all doing, bro. Yeah, they gonna always know. Yeah, the the, the thing I I, I I found the man is the the fact of how you stayed in tune with it. How when you was speaking, you was basically you was running down through there, and you said that you didn't think like you was like, now nah, this was something. This wasn't just this was a hit or something. Yeah, and you may tell you why. Explain I say that. that. Explain that to me. Look, I'm gonna say this because the reason I say that, bro, is because simply one reason. Okay. You know, because Mo three said it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.